hello everyone so today in this video we'll go through this very interesting new mllm which is named mini cpm version 2.6 actually this is the latest version of this mini cpm model which has many unique features like it can deal with multiple images and video uh, in one go so that is something which is which makes this mllm very unique and uh, to on top of that it is able to beat the gpt4 v uh, on almost all the major metrics which makes this model uh, very efficient and very robust and obviously this mini cpm is famous for uh, being very handy when it comes to deployment uh, it means that it is a, you can um, literally deploy it on your own phone so that is something which uh, is very interesting about this mini cpm so let's go on and let's check how is it able to perform in uh, videos so i'll take this uh, very simple video of uh, a football match and uh, i'll use this So I'll ask a simple question. What do you see in this video? Can you provide me a summary? And I'll submit it here. Actually, I've uh, been uh, fortunate enough to know about this model quite early and uh, I uh, did go through a lot of uh, testing and I uh, have written a blog, uh, a series of blogs actually um, on it, uh, which you can use to de use it, uh, deploy it and fine tune it uh, according to your own needs. I'll provide you with the links in the description of this video so you can go through and check it out uh, so let's uh, see the answer this video showcases a football player in action on the field wearing a blue and red strip jersey fairly able to understand uh, the uh, obvious things in the video player is seen dribbling passing passes to the teammates scoring goals celebrating so it is able to understand the basic um, activities which are happening in the video which was expected actually and uh, so uh, it is also able to differentiate between the opponents and the uh, one, I mean between the two teams on the basis of their jerseys so that is something which is uh, appreciable and uh, then it can also understand that the stadium is filled with spectators and glimpses of other players so it's it's a decent uh, answer I would say let's test it out uh, with another question can you guess the player who has scored the goal in this video also can you tell the team tell his team so let's check whether it is able to uh, guess something or not So it is able to uh, tell the team based on the, its jersey which is very uh, good I would say mm. but it hasn't been able to explicitly tell the player name. I'll again try uh, to prompt it. Let's see whether it is able to give any reasonable answer or not. I'm not sure whether it will be able to determine the player name with accuracy or not. Yeah, it is again giving the very ambiguous answer. It is not able to de determine the player name, which is under understandable actually. Uh, 
again uh, it is saying that the player belongs to FC Barcelona which it has been able to detect uh, using uh, the jersey so let's ask another question So it has been able to say detect uh, actually that uh, there has been a goal but uh, again not able to clearly tell how many goals have been score, scored which is quite obvious because um, actually in this video you can see there are many replays of the same so it is uh, treating this video at the back end most probably as uh, a bunch of images and that's it so it you cannot expect it to uh, tell the number of goals also it is not able to uh, understand the audio in the video which is again quite obvious because it does not take into account the audio part of the video uh, just the uh, visual part of the video is considered while uh, it is uh, un analyzing it so yeah that's it I think I'll try with one more question uh, So I have asked it uh, whether you are able to guess the league uh, or not. Let's see. I, I'll tell you the reason why I have asked this question. So again it has been able to determine which uh, league it is and the reason behind this is this logo you can see at the top right corner of the video which says La Liga. So that's what I wanted to uh, figure out actually whether it is able to analyze that uh, logo and uh, give some results using that or not. So yes, it has been able to do it. So b basically this tells you oh, that the model is efficient when it comes to analyzing each part of the image. Like it is able to understand the logo, it is able to understand the jersey and its color and um, in the background also it is able to understand that there are spectators so uh, it is doing quite well when it comes to analyzing each and every part of the image so yeah i think it's very good and as the metrics show that it is able to beat uh, the gpt 4v uh, which itself is a very good model so uh, and then it has an advantage over gpt 4v that you can deploy it on your phone so I think it's a very good model. It's actually a beast of a model. And lately I've been working on it and I've been try trying different real world use cases using this mini CPM. And I must say that it has been able to uh, perform very well in almost all the uh, use cases. So yeah, you can check it out. Uh, you can deploy it on your own uh, phone and any other device and uh, you can check out my blog i'll provide you the link in the description of this video uh, you can check it out how to use this model for your own use cases so yeah that's it for uh, this video and i'll see you in the next one thank you